Okay, so we've arrived at Ho Chi Minh City International Airport. This is where we'll be checking in in about an hour for our bamboo flight. So we've lined up at baggage check-in here for bamboo. Uh, when you have a look at the line, there must be a lot of people traveling because it goes way down here and way around there. So we're departing from gate 18 here at the airport. It's Singapore Airlines, it's not ours, but looks like our bamboo plane is over there getting ready. This is quite a strange experience because I've never actually terminaled directly before at Ho Chi Minh City. So normally you get off and get bussed in, so bamboo must be special. So here we are, sitting at the boarding gate. I assume we're about to board soon. I can see the plane has started. The engines are going. Rebecca is finishing her cola before we get on. <coughs> okay, so the line's moving here as we're about to board the Dreamliner to Melbourne. So hopefully it's comfy and a little bit roomy maybe um, compared to what Bamboo Domestic was which was okay, but it was only a short haul flight for like an hour and a half. This one's eight and a half hours, so let's hope for the best. No. Okay, let's go. Bye bye Ho Chi Minh City Airport. We've been here six times in the last three weeks. There it is. There is a Kraken sunset the last night we leave. Okay, let's go. Row 38 seats A, B, C, and we also have 37 C as well. So up the back end of the plane. I'm with them, same seats. <laughs> Same, same, but different. <laughs> Ooh, two classes. Business looks flash. Okay. Looks nice. Oh. Okay, so there's a bit of a surprise. There is in seat screens uh, on their website it says that they use the downloadable ones, but uh, we have got a really good screen here. We've got USBs right down there. Hang on, we've also got USBs up here. We've got blankets, pillows, good amount of room. Um, as a bigger person, I always measure how much room we've got by whether I can uh, get the seat tray out, which I can. So. That tells me that there is really a good amount of leg room here down the bottom as well. So we're in a 333 configuration here on Bamboo to Melbourne. Looks really comfy, really new. Actually most of their planes are new because they took off in end of 2018 and COVID struck a year later so they were all put away for two years. So we're on a brand new, semi brand new Dreamliner. Ready for departure. Thank you. Complimentary wet wipes for us. The wet tissue is a nice touch. Uh, instead of the hot wipes, you get a bamboo wet wipe to use instead. Complimentary newspapers at the door is always a good sign that uh, that you're flying with a quality airline and not budget. I think anyway. Even an English, even English version newspaper, considering in Vietnam, is good. 
airline. Okay, so no live safety demonstrations here on Bamboo, but what you do is you get in the back of the screen, which is just as handy. Ladies and gentlemen, for the safety of the flight. In both English and Vietnamese. The wet tissue is a nice touch. Uh, instead of the hot wipes, you get a bamboo wet wipe to use instead. Complimentary newspapers at the door is always a good sign that uh, that you're flying with a quality airline and not budget, I think, anyway. Even an English, even English version newspaper, considering in Vietnam, is good. Okay, preparing for takeoff. All lights are off. We're about to start taxiing out to the runway here. Okay, so there's a good range of in-flight entertainment. We've got latest movies, Top Gun, Jurassic Park, Elizabeth Windsor. So we've got Hollywood releases, Hollywood classics, action, drama, fiction, comedy, anime, Asian movies. So it's probably about 20 odd in each section. You get the good old trusty headphones that you used to get on most planes these days so you can plug her into your little entertainment system there and away you go so pretty happy with this we'll definitely find something you need to watch okay so no more than i would say 20 minutes into the flight i don't even think we're level it up yet we're still heading upwards uh they've been around to drop off a pack of salted almonds and some bamboo water, so this is a promising good start on here. Less than an hour into the flight, we've got meal service already, so since we're leaving Ho Chi Minh City at 6 p.m. and landing in Melbourne at 6 a.m., I assume they want to feed us as quickly as possible, send everyone to sleep and then wake us up for another meal before we land. Okay, so there was a choice of beef rice or pork noodles, so I've gone with the beef rice here. Let's have a look. It looks okay. So it's a bit of rice, a bit of beef. Looks like a bit of capsicum. You get a flan, a little bit of salad, a little bit of bread. be honest the salad's really nice the beef itself is okay but there's a lot of rice in there that's really got no taste so you know plain food is plain food in the end okay the second meal option was the pork and noodles so this is what it looks like got a bit of pork some carrot in there a little quail egg got some sauce on it some noodles underneath we'll try this one see what it's like so one thing I really haven't enjoyed is the uh, reclining seats. When your seats go back on the streamlining, your screen obviously goes down and there's no uh, there's no tilt mechanism to tilt your screen back up to help you watch. So that's been a bit of a pain and also it's been really uncomfortably hot on here overnight. Um, lots of people using the safety cards as fans to cool themselves down. It's been that warm on here. so certainly wasn't greatly comfortable to sleep on temperature wise okay lights were turned on promptly two and a half hours out of melbourne for breakfast service there was a choice of pasta or sweet soup so we went for the pasta let's see what it looks like and hope that it's not too spicy ah spaghetti bolognese and a yogurt, some fruit, and a bread roll. Looks actually looks better than dinner, so that's a winner. Of course, before landing in Australia, you get a customs declaration form off the airline that you got to fill out with all your details for entering Australia. 
how long you're staying, where you've been, what you're bringing with you, all the uh, all the relevant questions that the Australian government wants to know. She's waiting for love to be